no. All right, so we got the bottom piece intact. Let's just leave the rollers out of this drawing. So for the top piece, we're gonna have two linear rails on either side sticking out of the bent part on those bottom brackets on which we'll have some linear bearings riding. And that will have a bracket probably on a piece of angle iron that will come down and encase the top roller and up top have a little receiver for the press bit. So, pretty, pretty freaking simple. Let's, let's do it. this piece of pipe and and looky there it almost fits so I'm gonna see if I can just press this in and be done with it don't even gotta touch the lathe today this little roller guide now we just need something to hold these bearings at the correct distance and I don't really think that I mean if I do anything halfway right these aren't going to be taking any force so I'm just going to cut out a couple bits that I can weld right there and keep it nice and consistent and then we need something to hold the top of our little rails here which again shouldn't be taking any force so just gonna cut them out on the plasma cutter and tack them on see how it works Alright, 
We got all the bits and bobs. Let's just put it together. No. you saw there but I just took these little brackets I built and welded them to the back of the angle iron and they're both cut at whatever half of this is one and a half inches so we know that it's right in the middle all right we got our slidey bit it's it's slidey now we got to figure out how this is going to reach all the way down here. Where's my drop? I don't think that's long enough. Actually, I think that's just long enough. Got him. Let's cut a cap, tap it to fit on here, and then we're, we're almost cruising here, man. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna weld a little cap on here. We're gonna stick it in the lathe, center drill it, drill it out enough to use this big mamma of a tap. Because for some reason when I when I built the old Smash Boy here, I thought I needed a freaking three-quarter inch bolt. Just to make my life difficult down the road. I'm real good at that, I guess. It really doesn't feel that safe, but it is what it is. Oh, and this is where it breaks. Back it up. All right, as if it wasn't sketchy enough with just the center drill, now we got a half inch drill with the tail stuff just just teetering off the edge here. <laughs> Hold on to your nut sacks. We made it. Probably right, going in with the five eighths. Still scared. I'm standing way back. I think that one thread will get us there. <laughs> Alright, let's stick it on there, see if it goes down enough. And we're hitting the fucking thing. Damn. And it's pretty sideways. Is it gonna work? Pew! Well, move 
this down. I don't like how far these springs are extended. It's just a little bit on the shifty side. So I think we'll need a longer connecting arm. So I got to thinking why extend this already wobbly rod here when I can just add a little spacer in here. Easy. You know what? I don't think I will ever need to roll anything that tight. Uh, I think we can call this food. Let me get those welded up in there. Finish off all the welds along the edges and then build a crank and we're we're done. <laughs> Gauge. Let's see how she she hangs. thing but I did use a pretty short piece. Let's try a long piece of flat bar. Fucking do, man. <coughs> nice. Alrighty, now all we gotta do is move the crank. Everybody's favorite part. here it's kind of hard to do this through a camera then we got the finishing touch here bank beautiful got need some organization shit so let's let's get it all painted up all righty got it all painted up a couple glamour shots and of course the finishing touch 
<laughs> so, you know, I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. You guys saw the couple of pieces that I rolled with it, and I think this is going to come pretty useful for future projects. So, if you like what you saw here, smash that liker, give me a subscribe, and let me know. Let me know what I can do to make these videos better or more interesting. Let me know anything else you'd like to see, and I'll see you in the next one.